That is a hit at a mile. All right, guys, welcome back to 243 Outdoors. My name is Josh, and we have a little product review we're going to look at today. This is the Tacky Grande from Thunderbird Long Range. It has a little brother called the Tacky Sack, and this is the slightly larger one. I uh, came across this on a Facebook group and uh, got a hold of the uh, owner, Steven, and kind of requested one review, so he sent me one. and. This thing, I believe, is really going to shine on tank traps. This is kind of a PRS type bag. It is multi-purpose. It is set up to run on almost any kind of barricade. It's a U-shaped design with this really tacky material on it. But you can throw this on a tank trap leg and uh, it'll hold your gun right up. So we're going to be shooting today at 50 yards. We have the tank trap. I have a tire. I have a couple buckets and a folding chair. We're going to take a look at this and then see how it performs. But I'm really looking forward to this. I apologize if it's a little windy. I tried to shoot a different direction because we got a crosswind. So I'm kind of using this cornfield as a wind block. However, the corn's making a lot of noise. Hopefully you can hear everything and the sunlight's kind of iffy. So uh, we're going to send some rounds today and see what we think of this bag. All right, so I have a target set up at 50 yards and uh, let's shoot some off the tank trap. Be shooting CCI standard velocity today. Be plenty good. This bag is designed to be uh, used on these tank trap legs. Transition to this leg. And we are clear. So that is just a few of the ways you can use it. Let's get out some other barricades and we'll try something different. Okay, so these are some examples of barricades that we shoot off of on the NR NRL 22 series. A folding chair is a common uh, deal and uh, shooting off the top rail sometimes could be an obstacle. The way this thing is designed is you can actually set this on top of the chair and actually make a pretty decent shooting platform. So we'll send a few rounds like that, see how it does.
Another thing we shoot off of a lot is a bucket. So we got a couple different options. We can actually kind of lay it out like we did there. We can actually set it up like this and actually get a little more elevation for our rifle. This uh, creates a channel in order to uh, put your gun in and it actually locks the gun pretty tight. So let's get it kind of locked in there. That is a very stable shooting platform. Another obstacle we use a lot is a tire, and we're going to use this in the same manner we did on the bucket with the tire. And we'll actually kind of rest the gun on the back. Left, so we'll just finish them out here. We can also lay the bag down like that. thing I have here is a five gallon bucket so uh, let's send a few rounds off of it so once again I'm just going to pick up the bag let the fill settle down we'll set a rifle on it and then open it back up and like I said this creates a pretty tight channel to hold your rifle in Next thing we're going to do is shoot prone and we'll use this as a rear bag. So we're set up to shoot prone. I kind of have a pinch in the rear of the bag and I can squeeze it together to kind of raise and lower it. But uh, this seems to be a pretty stable platform to shoot from. So that's a quick little look today at the Tacky Sack Grande from Thunderbird Long Range. I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, I posted a bunch of pictures of this on different barricades on the Facebook page the other day, so be sure and check that out. And uh, if this is something you're interested in, like I said, this is the larger version and there's also a smaller version. I really feel that this is about the right size. Any smaller, uh, you'd be kind of limited. But this is a definite a multi-use bag, um, endless possibilities. Your imagination is only the just the beginning of it. 
like I said, this is an excellent bag for any kind of tank trap shooting. So if you're in NRL 22 or any kind of PRS uh, series that uses the tank trap, you might consider looking at this bag. Uh, like I said, it, it adapts to almost any uh, barricade, whether it be buckets, chairs, tires. Use it as a rear bag. You can use it for a front rest. It folds in half. It stands up for a little more height. Uh, there is a strap here and a handle here. Uh, you can actually run a strap around this if you wanted to. The fill is uh, its not completely full and that allows that uh, rifle to get pinched in there. Like it's, and it, it holds, it's a rock solid uh, a bag for uh, shooting off of. So like I said, this is just a, kind of an intro video kind of showing this thing off. I'm going to be using this here in probably the next month or so. Our next NRL 22 match is in about three weeks. So I can't wait to uh, take it there and uh, really put it to use where it counts. So uh, that's going to wrap up today's video. I want to thank everybody for watching, and we will catch you later.